It's been a long time coming, but today we're talking about the Diono Traverse, and overall, I think the stroller is decent, but does have room for improvement. Let's break it down. Hey guys, Andrew here, chatting fatherhood and sharing thoughts on family-related products. Coming out of the JPMA video, the Diono Traverse was the product that was most high on, and I've even talked with Diono about becoming a brand ambassador. In fact, this very video was sponsored, but despite that, I still have to do an honest review and share the things I'm liking and some of the things that I'm not. So let's start with the good. From the first time I saw it, I fell in love with the look of the Traverse. It really does look like a sleek, well-designed compact stroller, and it's weighing in at just 12.3 pounds, which is one of the lightest compacts you can find. Opening this guy up is easy as it's both a one-handed open and close, which does feel fluid and smooth. When open, it stands a little over 40 inches tall from the ground to the top of the handle. Just like the upper menu from my last review, the Traverse has a really good balance of being lightweight and sturdy without feeling too flimsy or cheap. The handle has a soft foam-like material which feels tactile and offers good grip. It isn't adjustable, but at my height of 5'11", I've had no problems. The canopy I like a lot. You can actually peel the flap forward to reveal a super wide peep screen. Now there isn't an extended sunshade, but that's not really a deal breaker for me. On the back is a zip pocket that can hold small essentials like keys, phones, and sunglasses. Moving down the seat itself is going to be something we'll revisit momentarily since I've got a lot of thoughts on this one. But continuing downward, the basket has a good amount of spacing for smaller things like water bottles, snacks, and so on. I don't think it's made to accommodate any sort of larger shopping items or diaper bags, so if you're getting tired of carrying your bag, you might just want to resort to hanging it on the handle. The back flap of the basket can extend out a bit for a little bit more space. Now it hasn't bothered me too much, but over time I have noticed a bit of warping on the flap, and I think that's bound to happen after multiple folds. Toward the back of the basket, you'll find a simple sandal-friendly brake. The wheels are pretty standard baseline wheels, I can't really speak to the longevity of those yet, but the suspension is surprisingly solid, being able to accommodate a bit of bounce. The magic of the Traverse really is in the fold though. Once again, a super simple one-handed fold. Where it sets itself apart though is with the telescoping handle hidden around the top. You can pull it up and roll it behind you just like a suitcase. And I think it's the only stroller I've seen with that kind of feature. Diona also provides you with a waterproof soft case to zip around the stroller for added protection during trips. This combo really does make it well suited for air travel and vacations. When folded, the dimensions according to my rough measurements are about 23 and a half inches tall, 17 inches wide, and about 13 inches deep. In a recent flight, I was able to fit it in an overhead compartment with ease. I will say that rolling it down the aisle of the airplane was just a little difficult in the 737 that we were on, but it could squeeze through though. Being priced around $279, the Traverse is a little bit more affordable than some of the higher end compacts that you're going to find like the Upper Menu, the Baby Zen Yo-Yo, or the Bugaboo B. Which, by the way, if you are considering buying any of these compact lightweight strollers, uh, everything is going to be linked down in the description below. If you uh, are interested in, in buying, uh, going through that link really does help support this channel. So go check that out if you're interested. Really appreciate it. Now let's circle back and talk about the biggest place for improvement that I think Diona should address in a future model, and that's the seat. In sum, our baby was just never comfortable in the Traverse, and I think the cause of that can be attributed to a couple factors. First, the seat depth. It's measuring at just 7.5 inches, which is very shallow and doesn't seem to allow him the space to sink in. Instead, it always looks like he's slumping and sliding off the seat. Second, I think, is the seat angle. If you look closely at the Bugaboo B or the upper menu, both seats angle downward a bit to let the kids slide in. Because the Traverse's seat pan is basically parallel to the ground, it keeps their bum and legs pushed upward a bit, and it ultimately results in a slumped look rather than a proper seated position. Looking at the side by side, you can just tell our son's body is seated differently. He's slumping and almost wants to pull himself upward. Third, the seat back is kind of in this weird half reclined position where it's not all the way up, but it's not all the way down. It kind of operates right around here and it doesn't display that full range of motion that I want to see to help that slump problem in my opinion. Now I'm not saying Diona should address all of these things, but rather just one of them. Either make a deeper seat pan or change the angle. That being said, this is just one guy's opinion. I want to note that we have a one year old. I've seen pictures of people with older kids that seemingly have had better experiences than I have with the Traverse. So if this is something that you really want to grab, uh, I, I just say go for it. Take my review with a grain of salt and just go ahead and get the Traverse. And also I want to note that I love Diono as a brand. Uh, the Rainier, the, the Radian, the Quantum, the Quantum 2 all phenomenal products, phenomenal strollers, phenomenal car seats. They're extremely good. I think that they just could use a bit of improvement with Traverse. Diono is a brand overall though, top notch. 
In theory, the stroller is perfect. It looks the part, it's priced very well, it's perfectly suited for daily errands and travel. It even won the JPMA Innovation Award for Best Stroller, but from our experience, it's just a few tweaks away from becoming a top tier option. All that being considered, what are your thoughts on the stroller? And especially if you have actually used it in the past, let other parents know down below what your experience has been. I think other people who are considering this buy will benefit greatly from your thoughts. So please share them all below. That's all I've got for you guys. For more vlogs and reviews, just like this one, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless guys. Later.